Hi. First of all, I want to wish you a happy new year and a year full of gaming and full of fun and full of arcade building, of course. And boy, what a year I have had. Uh, I made so many systems, so many control panels, uh, uh, two very large full-size um, four-player arcade cabinets, the Sekiro build, uh, of course, the one with the drawer, with the inlaid guns, uh, a large cabinet for a gentleman in the Netherlands. Uh, we did the complete workshop renovation. The workshop is so nice now to work in, even in the winter. Uh, I made the Fusion 360 Autodesk tutorial series and, uh, and much, much more. In 2024, I have so many builds coming up. We are going to have so much fun. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you the brand new control panel that's standing next to me. This is the first one uh, of 2024 and several projects are coming up. So, we are going to build um, a uh, wall mounted bar top arcade. So an arcade machine, smaller one uh, that you can hang on the wall with an, uh, an, uh, the computer inside of course complete, uh, which will be made out of uh, walnut. Uh, it's going to be a crazy build, lots of fun. And it will be the first arcade that uses the Pixelcade marquees. And uh, I never worked with them before. These are the marquee screens. Uh, these are not LCD monitors, these are LED monitors. I got one right here. Um, I got several of them, in fact. I never worked with them, but I really like them a lot. So the, the bar top wall mount arcade machine with the Pixelcades coming up. I'm going to build um, a pet project for myself, which will be a Metal Slug Neo Geo cabinet. Metal Slug! And I will build, especially for me here in the living room. And this is going to be a kind of a different build, which utilizes a real Sony PVM monitor. And um, of course, here you can see some of the components already bought, the Neo Geo colored buttons. And it's going to use um, the uh, Mr. Kate, the FPGA Mr. Kate project, which is uh, really cool. This is, this is it. I bought it uh, pre-assembled, but you can also uh, buy a kit, so you can build one yourself. And I have some experience, as you know, with FPGA which is kind of hardware emulation. So this is quite possibly the best way um, to, to play these games uh, in an authentic way. So can't wait for that. This is the, the coin door. So we are going to build a complete Neo Geo cabinet uh, with my special uh, <laughs> sauce on it uh, as we speak. After that, uh, we are going to build a 43 inch monster four player arcade machine for a gentleman in Spain. This uh, will be made out of plywood and not MDF for the first time. Uh, and this is a high grade plywood with epoxy um, uh, on both sides. So this will be a great build. Uh, and of course I will try to find new ways of, of showing the controllers and the guns. So we will have lots of fun with that. Oh. And that one will have a super high-end uh, monitor. I think it's a 120 or 144 hertz uh, monitor with FreeSync and NVIDIA, uh, what's it called? Sync, NVIDIA Sync, G-Sync, G-Sync, I think. V-Sync, G-Sync, Sync, NVIDIA Sync. Anyway, with a variable refresh rate. <laughs> now I got it. And last, and this will be my biggest challenge yet, I'm going to build a over-the-top 50-inch cabinet for a gentleman in Madeira, which is an island near Portugal, uh, which is also called, uh, we call it Bluma Island, which, is, which translates to Flower Island. And this gentleman wants a 50-inch arcade cabinet. That's huge, 50-inch screen. And then uh, he wants it to be, uh, to be playable standing or sitting. So we're going to make it that it can rise electronically, just like a sitting standing desk. So it can rise uh, with some beautiful buttons, of course. So if you want to stand, you press a button, the whole cabinet will rise up. And if you want to sit, it will rise down. And this gentleman had some crazy ideas. Uh, he wanted to include real Xbox and real PlayStation and, and a real Nintendo Switch in separate compartments. 
um, and switchable so you can play with your uh, actual PlayStation 5 um, system on the cabinet and then with one uh, press you need to switch back to hyperspin and use all the uh, emulation stuff. Anyway, this is going to be the biggest build I've ever done. I'm really looking forward to it, but it will be super complex and a lot of engineering involved, but this will make great videos. So let me now show you the first project I've done in 2024 and it's right next to me. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen some of the building videos and building pics. Uh, if you don't follow me yet on Instagram, you can do that by um, uh, finding me at the Daniel Spice um, underscore arcades. So this is really uh, fun. If you like short videos and short images, uh, follow me there. So, and this is the first all-in-one control panel I've ever made. Well, ever made this powerful because inside here is a complete PC, a mini PC, a very powerful one. So this is plug and play. Um, you just connect it to your HDMI screen and uh, you are ready to go. Uh, in this case, I've installed a keyboard and a mouse uh, just for easy operation of Windows, but you don't really need to do that. Um, you can just use the Stream Deck to go to Hyperspin and start your favorite game. I've started this build a few months ago and uh, this client, he's, I think he's born in Brazil, but he's living in Japan. And he would like to have a Japanese style control panel, an all-in control panel with a Raspberry Pi uh, computer inside. And later we switched the Raspberry Pi for a high-end mini PC to make it more powerful and to be able to use all the, um, the features you see here. But I thought that would be a great opportunity to practice my woodworking skills and uh, play a bit with kinds of wood and bamboo and inlaying and etc etc. So I traveled to uh, Arnhem, a, a Dutch city, together with my dad and they had so much stuff there. It was a beautiful place and uh, I would definitely go, uh, we'll go back there for future projects. So regarding the design, uh, I landed the design with some uh, bonsai uh, trees that I cut out of the bamboo wood, as you can see here in the sides. And they, uh, they double function as air vents. So the bamboo panels are beautiful laid in. And of course, I did not do that by hand. I did it with a CNC machine, but it's absolutely flawless. It, it feels uh, really nice to the touch. You cannot feel anything. It's, it's just like it belongs there. It's completely laid in. And I originally wanted to go for a cherry wood, uh, as this might be more kind of Japanese wood uh, but cherry wood doesn't look that beautiful um, compared with this walnut so uh, walnut it is so the pc is hidden here behind a bamboo panel you can just get it out and it it has some small magnets magnets as you can see here and it snaps into place let's open it up and the wiring was difficult on this one. Um, I did not want to have any extra ports or USB ports at the back or power ports at the back, just the small mini PC, which means that uh, I had only one USB-C port to connect everything to. So this USB-C port is going to a, a USB hub and the ultimate IO board is uh, getting power uh, through the USB hub from this, um, uh, what is it? 5 or 12 volt USB-C connector uh, here and it runs very stable and it, uh, it works. The cable management was a lot of work but I'm very happy with it. It looks very clean and um, it's more difficult than you might think as there is not much space in here including the mini PC and the I.O. board and the, um, the USB hub etc. So I also uh, opened the small mini PC and I uh, soldered this connector to it uh, so that we can utilize a, a nice button in front, an LED button. This is a 16 millimeter, very small button that matches the, the chrome feet and the chrome T molding. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, the customer also asked me to sign it. So uh, I signed it here. Uh, designed by uh, the Daniel Spice for Flavio, which is, his, uh, which is his name. So the buttons are all with continuous artwork. And as you know, I always like to do this. 
you can see the beautiful cherry blossom tree and uh, the mountains and it's actually it works really well with this design and of course this design is made by Sahai uh, Sahai Yoshi the coloring is great and this is the first time I've actually used a stream deck in white color so these are all gold leaf RGB buttons I always use those these are two um, uh, LED buttons single colored ones for the mouse functions left and right mouse buttons a mini grip stick and this is the Nobi uh, fight stick uh, which is an excellent fight stick it plays very well uh, a spinner of course it has some chrome feet and in front you can see uh, a small detail and I made the coin button the Japanese uh, yen icon okay I'm going to wrap up this build, test it a little bit more and I'm going to package it and ship it to Japan this afternoon. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, do comment. Also you can subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so you will not miss one upcoming uh, video. And these builds are going to be a lot of fun so you definitely wanna, don't want to miss these. Uh, thank you again and I will see you in the next video. Bye!